I'm Serena with Noiseography.com, and tonight we're here with We're Doomed. Where'd your name come from? How did you guys meet each other? What's Oops, the deal? I mean, I like long walks on the beach, romantic dinners with... No. What? Uh, the band. How do we meet each other? Um, Scott and I got together. Yeah. You, you do it. You, do you it. want me to do it? Somebody do it! Okay. Scott, Scott and I, uh, Scott moved back from Toronto when he uh, departed from a band that he was in before he moved back to Truro, his hometown. What band was that? That was called Aberdeen. Oh, uh, uh, She asked, I had to say. Scott, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we won't get into that. But, um... And then, yeah, we just started jamming, and we, we had, like, one song, and, and then these guys... I was in a band with Mike before. What band? Uh, in the Style. And, oh, yeah. And Nick played in the infamous Blackmore. Infamous. Yeah. Infamous. infamous. And uh, they offered to basically just fill in for a while until we could find some permanent musicians. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, we were originally going to be a pop punk band, which is really funny because it totally flip flopped and we're went still the other. a pop punk way. band, yeah. right? I'd say a little bit more proggy now, but I'm, I'm down with the prog. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically how we all came to start jamming. So together. what? What's the name? Where'd the name come from? Um, I'll take this one. Um, we were at a point where we were jamming a lot, and then. Uh, Nick went on tour with Blackmore for like a month and Simon and Mike were finishing up their stint within this style and I think my appendix ruptured or something like that so I was out for like three weeks. Something like um, that. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Couldn't, we couldn't jam for the longest time and it sucked because we were all super stoked on the project and you know, I think we had a Facebook thread or something going like that and I was like, guys, we're, we're doomed, like this is never going to work. And I was laying in bed that night and it just kind of hit me and I woke up and I like grabbed my phone and I googled it and there wasn't a like a band called that so as soon as I did that I made a MySpace got that hooked up and the guys were into it and that's where the name came from it kind of stuck it, it works I like it we like it basically we never thought that the band was ever gonna get off the ground and we were even gonna start playing shows but we did <laughs> your album like where did you guys record your album where did you, where did you do did, all that stuff we did drums with uh tim jim from matt mays well he's not in matt mays anymore but we did them at his studio the shed and then uh between me and simon we recorded everything else in our basement which was kind of fun yeah nick nick went to school for audio engineering and has the whole setup and everything so he kind of just uh made it his brainchild for a week andrew wiseman mixed it so. 
So what have you guys been doing since? Kind of touring, playing a lot of shows, what have you, what, what have you been up to? The past, gee, like seven, seven or eight months, I mean after the whole Like a Machine thing, we, we just basically started writing and writing and writing some more. We kind of locked ourselves in our house and the product of that will soon be released because we're planning on recording in July. Um, really, really excited to say that John Epworth uh, of John Epworth and the Improvements, um, the Dean Malenko's, is going to actually be producing the album. It's going to be a five song EP. Five songs? Yeah, five song five EP. Ish. With a bunch of like interludes and, and all this crazy oh. stuff. We got Worked Out, Prague. Um, Pop Punk. So that's hopefully, hopefully, hopefully going to be released by September sometime. But I mean, that's. You know, we've been doing that, writing, we've been playing a lot of shows around the East Coast, we've been kind of getting out more, um, and this summer we're, I'm in the works right now of trying to hook something up to go to Ontario and do some stuff up there, and do some more stuff around the East Coast. I don't know. I think we've been pretty well received in Halifax. Um, I don't know. I find we combine a lot of elements of different music, so it kind of makes a different sound. I wouldn't say that anyone in Halifax really sounds a lot like us. Or at least plays that similar kind of. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's kind of a niche market a little bit, you know, or a niche genre. It's cool too because we can, you know, we play a lot of bar shows, but we also play a lot of all ages shows, and it's cool having that balance. You know, being kind of in between because, you know, we can play a bar show and have a great turnout, have, you know, drink some beers with our friends. And we can also go hang out with all the kids who go absolutely ape shit and mosh and, like, you know, have a really good time. And it's still, like, super awesome and super fun. So. The, the whole EP, Like a Machine, is on our Bandcamp for free. Uh, you just go and type zero dollars, bandcamp.com slash we're doomed or we're doomed.bandcamp.com. And uh, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash we're doomed. And Twitter is we're doomed HFX. So check that shit out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right, guys. So thank you so much for uh, doing this interview with noisography.com. And again, we're here with We're Doomed. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, Doyle always rules.